Bonjour, welcome to my video where you find me in Solez. Hopefully you've seen my last video where I explore the market town of Lovell. If you haven't, click on that video because I think you should watch that video first. Although, watching this one first, it really probably doesn't make any difference. However, this was filmed after Lovell. So if you would like it in order as opposed to a Tarantino fashion where everything's mixed up, go click on Lovell. But in the meantime, if you're sticking around, uh, let me show you around the town of Ceres. Ceres borders three departments. In France, departments are a little bit like uh, boroughs in the US and boroughs in um, the UK. The Haute Garonne, which is where you'd find uh, Ravel, Tarn and Oud, and the regional national parks of the Haute Lundoc. Amazing wine from the Lundoc. And I apologize, I'm really destroying the pronunciation, I think. Uh, my English accent doesn't really do the uh, French justice, so um, the French purists, please accept my apologies. Uh, Soles is at the foot of the Black Mountains. The Black Mountains is actually the major source for the Canal du Midi. And if you stick around in this video, I'm going to be heading to the man-made lake where most of the water pours into it so it can be regulated and pushed through the canals at a steady pace rather than coming all down in a, at once in the springtime. Now as I walked around Ceres, which we're doing right this minute, I discovered it was more of a commune than a town, at least in the centre. However, we shouldn't detract from the fact that this town has a population of just under 3,000, so small by most town standards, but it does have a community and it is a little bit more than what we're seeing in these shots right here. Most of the town in the centre is made of these half-timbered houses and on the side of the houses you'll see corbels and most date back to the 16th and 17th century. Generally the town was full of was full of and still is full of artisans and artists. The big steeple that you see right here is the steeple of St. Martin. It was built in the 15th century. What you see right here is pretty much what remains of it. It remains of the parish church of the 15th century. This was destroyed during civil unrest. Other things to note in this tiny little town uh, if you're so inclined to visit, there's a glass museum, but more famously there's the Abbey School. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in the video, but to give you some background on the Abbey School, it dates back to the 17th century, and its history is linked to that of education in France, Europe, and the world because of its international re recruitment. Uh, the school became one of 12 royal military schools in the reign of Louis the 16th. So there's we go, that's where we are. And the Black Mountains is all along here. And we're down here. Very nice. Other things to note in this town, which I have to admit I didn't get to see because of the COVID shutdown, um, was the Museum of Tapestry. As the abbey was closed due to COVID, I missed out on seeing the tree of St. James, which is apparently 450 years old. On the plus side, I did get to go in this beautiful church. It's called the Church of Our Lady of Peace of Soles. And the church uh, dates back to something like the 16th century. Originally, it was op occupied by Protestants, but uh, due to certain circumstances, French history, honestly, Check out the Wikipedia page if you're interested, but it is now a Catholic church.
So under normal circumstances, this is a hotel and spa. Back in the day, it used to be a school where they would train up people to basically go rule over the French colonies. So if you were middle class and you, you know, well to do, and they thought you had the capacity to do it, they would send you to a school just like this, all boys school, very religious, and they would train you up and then they'd probably send you off to French Guiana or I don't know, Nigeria or somewhere or somewhere in the Africa, Africa or anywhere in the world where the French had a colony and uh, get you involved. But now it's a hotel and spa, but due to the COVID problems, I imagine the hotel will be opening in about a week or so. Things in France are opening up now, but it does mean I have the slight advantage of walking in places and as you can see, pretty empty. Although I don't think it will be that busy on normal, on normal circumstances. But who knows, it's a Saturday, but right now it's fairly empty. After wandering around the town, I had the privilege of uh, entering one of the local restaurants. And I sampled a, an amazing menu, which I think cost about 11 or 12 euros. And you get three courses, don't get me wrong, it's not um, Michelin star food, but it is French food and it is good food. And, and for a little bit of amount of money, which includes wine, I might add, you're left full and satisfied and yeah, you can't really complain. After the lunch, I take in the local, the countryside around Ceres. In the countryside around Ceres, you'll see lakes, caves, waterfalls. The Dominial Forests and the, the Montan Noir, which in English is the, the Black Mountains. Of note, the most interesting villages nearby include um, Revel, which is obviously what you saw in my last video, uh, Sazac, uh, Montelo, which is known for its bookshops, and uh, De Fort. A little further afield is Castle Nordle, and it's famous for its amazing dish cassoulet and then carcassonne which is going to be coming up in a very new video so please click subscribe for that it's about 50 kilometers southeast of Ceres and it's possibly one of the most impressive medieval towns in the world as Clarkson would say and I tell you now it is well worth visiting so please click subscribe because that video where I visit carcassonne is going to be coming very very soon if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, give it a share, share it to one of your friends, uh, maybe give, maybe share it to one of your friends that's planning to visit France or is in France and, you know, show them. I don't just visit French locations, as you'll see from my channel, there's uh, playlists including Ukraine, Eastern Europe, the Baltics, the Balkans, uh, you name it, there's all sorts of travel related content and there's also political content as well. And just for your guide, I'm not sponsored by any tourist board. I'm not sponsored by any country. And uh, however, if you would like to sponsor me, you can buy me a coffee with Kofi. You can pledge as little as 10 cents a month with Pledgesto. Or you could uh, log on to Subscribestar and um, do a monthly amount. After my situation which you would have seen from my cancelled video uh, click the link just there if you're curious your help is greatly appreciated restaurant Saint Martin So. <laughs> the half eaten, still going. So that's Sorez. Nice little town. Cultural center, I think. I think the reason that everything is so immaculate and well manicured is it's well looked after and a lot of money goes into it. A normal tourist season, this bridge is probably very busy. Obviously, things will get back to normal, and uh, hopefully, by the time you visit, it will be um, bustling and things will be open. But. Uh, this is what it's like in COVID. We've got the stream running, car park here, you park your car, and then that's it. We've got a hotel, spa, wonderful restaurant, 13 euros. I had a starter, I had a main, I had dessert, I had wine, and I'm bloated, all for 13 euros, good value. 
jazz place. Wonderful value. Nice place. So not far from Ravel and Soles is this uh, big man-made lake. And the reason this man-made lake was made was because they built this dam that I'm walking across to basically block the river to store the water so they would have plenty of water supply the uh, Canal de Midi. And the Canal de Midi serves this region as a sort of, back in the day, a sort of transport hub. The vessels would go up and down the canal and uh, deliver goods. And it's right now it's a major artery for tourism, effectively. Pleasure boats, barge boats full of tourists and locals use the canal to go up and down. But a wonderful man-made lake. There's a lot of these man-made lakes in uh, France. And uh, they act as a sort of, you know, point of relaxation. People on the sort of the lake beaches. It's actually pretty clean. I, I don't know. I don't know if... I presume because there's a ladder here, I presume people dive off here. The temperature's about 28, 29 degrees today. And all around the lake, uh, cars are parked. There's a big house over there. I don't know if that's some, some chateau or something. I'll have to look it up on the map. Wonderful, wonderful sort of place to spend the day. You know, you can rent boats, you can bring your own boats, of course, and uh, just really get involved. And I think it would probably take, probably take just 45 minutes to walk around the lake. And uh, if you get the chance, I urge you to do that. But that's it. That's, that's my little day trip in Ravel and Sorez. And uh, what a wonderful time. So if you like this, uh, click subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. There will be more videos. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. Keep progressing.